we are testing your English skills. If this is your first test with me, then you should consider starting at the beginning and working your way up to here. I'll put a link in the description to that first test. But if you've done the first two tests, then let's begin. If you can confidently and correctly answer all of the questions in this video, then you have achieved your B1 level of English, which is intermediate level. At this level, you should be able to have confident conversations in English about familiar topics. So I'm going to start off by reading a letter of application for a medical administration role. Listen carefully, because once I'm finished reading, I will ask you some questions about the job role and the application. Good luck. Dear Sir, Madam, I'm writing to apply for the receptionist role at Brook Medical Practice after hearing that the job was open from a friend who works at the practice. The job description says that you're looking for somebody who is friendly, organised and efficient. I believe that all of these traits have helped me so far in my education and career. I studied biology at sixth form because I have always had an interest in the human body, health and science. I also studied English, which strengthened my writing and accuracy skills. And sport, which taught me how to work well in a team and think quickly. While at school, I also volunteered at the local animal sanctuary. I loved looking after all of the animals and helping such an important charity. My current job is at the theatre box office and it involves speaking to customers about upcoming productions, reserving tickets and handling money. I would love the opportunity to speak with you more about this position at an interview. Please get in touch if you have any questions or concerns about my application. Your sincerely, Anna English. If you would like to listen to that letter again, then you can do that now, at this time. Now, I will ask you some questions. You can pause the video after each question to write your answer. Once you've done so, play the video and I will tell you the correct answer. Number one. When would you use dear sir or madam at the beginning of a letter? The answer is, if you're writing a formal letter, but you do not know the name of the person you're writing to. Question two, who told you about the job and how did they know about it? The answer is, a friend who already works there told me about the new job opening. Question three, how else could applicants have learned about the job opening? The answer is, applicants could have learned about the job opening online, perhaps through a newspaper or magazine, or if they visited the doctors and saw a notice that they were hiring. Question four, what do you think the secretary role at Brook Medical Practice would involve? Now, your answer will probably vary slightly, but this would be mine. The secretary role would probably involve sitting at the front desk, greeting patients, checking them in for their appointments, scheduling new appointments, taking phone calls, and handling patients' personal data. Question five, where and why did you study biology? The answer is, I studied biology at sixth form because I have always had an interest in the human body, health and science. Sixth form usually takes place at a school or college and is the name we have for full-time education, usually from age 16 to 18, if you're working towards your A-levels. Question six, 
What else did you study at sixth form and how did it help you? The answer is, I also studied English, which strengthened my writing and accuracy skills, and sport, which taught me how to work well in a team and think quickly. There are plenty of other skills that you could have said in your answer. If you're unsure, leave a comment down below. Number seven, why do you think it was good to write about working at an animal sanctuary on your application? Well, firstly, it shows that I am caring, which is important if you're working with lots of people, especially when those people are unwell. Secondly, it shows that I am motivated and willing to work hard because it was a volunteer role, so I was not getting paid for the time. Question eight, how do you think the skills you use at your current job at the theatre could help you in this receptionist role? Well, it is a customer service role, so I'm used to speaking to people and assisting them. Reserving tickets shows administrative skills, perhaps using a computer system, and money handling shows that I'm a trustworthy person and careful. Question nine. What is meant by the phrase, please get in touch? To get in touch means to make contact with someone by email or phone or even in person. Question 10. What else could you have included in this application letter to make it really stand out? There are so many correct answers to this question, so write your answer as a comment below. I can't wait to read all of your great suggestions. Now, could you confidently answer all of those questions? Did you understand all of my questions and answers? If this was difficult or you got some questions wrong, don't worry, keep practicing and come back later to try again. If you got all of these questions correct, congratulations, you have B1 Level English and you're getting so close to fluency. If you found it easy, then you should try out for the next level, B2. Just click here. Otherwise, why not take some time to check out some of these lessons? I'll see you soon.